please stand. As we put the baby Jesus in the crib, in the manger, we now celebrate what God promised us, his son to be on this world. May we, as we journey to tonight and to the tomorrow, that we may come to follow Christ always, for he loved us so much that he was born on this day. May we celebrate this the evening. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And also with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And as it is Christmas and the birth of Christ, we say, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. <coughs> take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. And let us pray. O God, who have made this most sacred night radiant with the splendor of the true light, grant we pray that we who have been have have known the mystery of his life on earth may be also delight in the, his gladness in heaven who lives and reigns in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. And those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shone. You've multiplied the nations. You've increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with the joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you've broken, as on the day of Midian. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it 
with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his, of his salvation from day to day. Today, Today is born our, our Savior, Christ, Christ the Lord. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is to be revered above all gods. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar, and all that fills it. Let the field exult, and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Rejoice before the Lord for he is coming. For he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Today, Today is born our, our Savior, Christ, Christ the Lord. A reading from the book of Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he, may, he might redeem us from all iniquities and purity for himself, a people of his own, who are zealous for good deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quinius was governor of Syria. All went to the, their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to a city of David called Bethlehem. There he was a descendant from the, the house of the family of David, he went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth, gave birth to the first, her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger 
because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over the flock by night. <coughs> then the angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. This will be the sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was uh, with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those who he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into the, the heavens, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this, this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. The Gospel of the Lord. Today in the Gospel, we, well, we see that Mary gives birth to Jesus. Jesus is the Son of God. God so loved the world that he wanted to give his Son to us, uh, the people. And the Son of his, Jesus, came and loved us so much that he was willing to die for our sins and to rise from the dead. Let us always be thankful for all he has done for us. Let us celebrate the wonders of Jesus Christ. One of the things that I like to watch at Christmas time is the, how the Grinch stole Christmas. It is a great story. It is a, it's a great story about this, man, this Grinch who did not like anything to do with Christmas. He found anything celebration of the, the Whoville people, he was disappointed, he was very upset all the time. And he stole all the gifts and all the presents and all the, uh, everything that even a morsel of food, he made sure there was no food, there was no presents, everything was taken out of the house, they were clean dry. And he was waiting for the people to go and say, boo, hoo, hoo. He really wanted to show that he had control. He wanted them to be sad. He wanted everything. He thought that the presents, the, the, the food, everything was related to their happiness. So when he listened on top of the hill to see their, their crying, he was shocked to see that the, the crying didn't happen, but they were celebrating Christmas. Now we remember that Christmas is a time for Jesus. Christmas, we get, we, there's a lot of times we get gifts for Christmas. We get family time for Christmas. Nothing wrong with that. But we also have to know that Christmas is Jesus. Let us love God. Let us follow Jesus as we journey with Christ so that one day we will leave this world in a happy place much better than the Whoville, but much better than anything you can experience. He will take care of us in a wonderful place where we should be, we should be targeting, planning some day to go. Not necessarily today, but you know. <laughs> but the whole idea, let us love God and follow Him forever and ever. Amen.
Let us profess our faith, the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Knowing that the Lord is listening to us, let us now offer our prayers to him. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christians and all church leaders, that they may be a source of light to the darkened world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that Christ, the light of the world, may turn their minds and their hearts to, to thoughts of peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the lonely, that Christ, who shared our humanity, may renew their strength and rekindle their hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are, who are grieving the loss of a loved one, that the light of, the, of God cons consolation may shine on them, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For those who are alone or away from home this Christmas, that they may know that they are not forgotten, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish community and all families, that God may keep us connected in spirit and love during this time of social distancing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own special needs at this time, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we ask you to hear our prayers and all the prayers throughout the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us this, our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the oblation of this day, day's feast be pleasing to you, O Lord. We pray that through this most holy exchange we may be found in the likeness of Christ, in whom our nature is united to you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in, you, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our minds, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may, we may be caught up through him in a love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts of the power of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And this Mass today is for the sick and their caregivers. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Marcel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, how will be thy name? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us bow to each other in peace. Lamb of God, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above, above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to separate from you. Amen. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, our God, that we who have our gladdened by participation in the feast of our Redeemer's nativity may, through the, an honorable way of life, become, to me, become worthy of the union with him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Just a couple of announcements. First one is uh, tomorrow, to, uh, today, well, network on the 25th, so today's right now, Friday. On Saturday, if the, the Ontario government has put us all, the whole province, on uh, lockdown. So we are now at the point where there will be no mass tomorrow evening. I will do a live stream mass on YouTube to, for people to watch, I mean on Facebook, and then I put it on YouTube for people to watch the masses. Father Kevin has been doing that as well. And we're just, we hope that we can get this to stop someday when we don't have to worry about COVID-19, but it is not something we're gonna have, we're gonna go, or it's gonna take a little while. On top, one thing I can tell you that even though I might not have masks, in this on Sunday here, uh, uh, with all the, with you here, you can come to, on Sunday afternoon to one o'clock for a drive-by Christmas blessing. It'll be starting. I'll be blessing right outside the church right here. But before you can come here, you have to go find the back of the line. And one reason you go west, everybody's it's always said. Go west, young man, go west. So I'm going to tell everybody to go west. And then you're going to go to the end of the line. And you know how where the end of the line is because everybody's going to put on their four-way flashers to say that they're on this this uh, this blessing, uh, this, this procession, uh, this, uh, this blessing. That they're in line for this. Well, one thing I tell you, don't block any driveways. Just make sure that you can come. And I'm hoping it goes all the way to that the lineup goes all the way to Howard Dan Road. That would be really amazing because that would mean that I'm going to get more than I had at the Corpus Christi procession when I had 70, 70 cars come by, almost 300 people during that time. So it's an opportunity to get a blessing. I'm still looking at possibilities on 
after New Year's to make sure that I get as many people involved with the celebration of the Mass. But watch my messages. I'm going to try something, but I'm not 100% if it will work. I, I, I was one, one do a couple of things. I talked to Father Dan about something, and he says I can't do it that way, so I got something else planned, but it's going to take a little while. But I think we're going to have a good celebration for, for following after Christmas to make sure that as many people can still celebrate the Mass and receive the Eucharist, the body of Christ. The other thing is, one more thing, I have, there's a book called I Heard God Laugh. It's by Matthew Kelly. I ask you if you want the book, take one and read the book. I don't want a book that just sits in the, if you buy a book and it's going to, it's going to be shelf on the shelf. The dust does not read, read the book. So I'm asking you please to read the book. The Lord be with you. Bow down to God's blessing, Christmas blessing. May the, God, may the God of infinite goodness, who is the incarnation of his Son, have driven darkness from the world, and by the glorious birth has illuminated this most holy night, drive forth our Drive far from you, you, the, the darkest, darkness of vice, and illuminate our hearts with the light of virtue. May God who will that the great joy of his son's saving birth be announced to shepherds of by the angels. Be, uh, Fill your minds with the gladness of it to he gives, and make you heralds of his gospel. And may God, who is the incarnation, brought together the 